Kill! What's going on, guys? Shoot back with another episode of Colorado Island Treasure Mode. All right, quiet. I know. Yes, sound a little down right now. Listen, not down. Trust me, everything is all happy here. Problem is, I recorded this episode already. Lost everything. Thank God, I didn't click save. Lost everything, and it was funny video time too. It was hilarious. It was it was a it was a damn funny video. That's all I'm saying, man. It was a fun funny video. I had a blast in it. Uh, here's all the retirements. Uh, it's just interesting. All these retirements are different. Like Char didn't retire. Cromwell didn't retire. Wow, a lot of these guys that didn't retire retired. Very interesting. Whoa, bless me. Yeah, this is odd. All right. Damn, who are you? A lot of those guys did not retire originally. So I guess that's that's pretty cool. Now, I made, oh, an ass chunk of trades, man. Holy hell. And when I say ass chunk, I mean literally an ass chunk of trades. Uh, yeah. Uh, I made so freaking many trades. It was crazy. So, I suppose I can make them all again because tis only a video game and a simulation engine. So, we shall make all the trades again, which isn't that bad. Yes, I traded Zadorov for cap space reasons. We're not going to have a lot of it, and we don't need a defenseman, especially after the next trade we're going to make. So, what I did, I went ahead and grabbed myself a first round pick. For Nikita Zadorov. Thank you. Can okay, never have too many first round picks. And then you're probably saying, ah, oh, yeah, great. Now he's probably going to trade a forward. Negative. Not trading a forward. Actually, I'm trading one of our better defensemen. EJ. Out. Why? Cap reasons. And I could get better players. Let me explain. So, you go over to Nashville, you think, like, these guys are doing pretty damn good. Incorrect. These guys, however, would look good in an Avalanche jersey. And, as a matter of fact, we can acquire them at a rather good price. Look at this, bro. Both of them, half salary retained. That means Chaboy is going to have cash in his pocket. Bang. Why are they not interested in Eric Johnson? But they were. Originally, they were. Really not that big of a deal. I suppose I can throw in another piece. Although I'm not keen on it. I suppose that I can. Although I am incredibly against it. The Minnesota Wild second round pick, but I need a third round pick from your side in return. Slash fourth. YOLO. Okay. So now we got a bunch of good defensemen. Although we lost one incredibly good one in the 88 overall, Eric Johnson. Now, we are going to miss Johnson a lot, but. I like our new defensive war. One, two, three, four, five, six. Much better. Also, in the forward front, Carl Soderberg has decided to run himself out of town. Because I am not interested in retaining his services anymore. So, you go to a team that can't afford him, a.k.a. the Toronto Make Beliefs. You go and see what picks they're trying to trade away. You realize that they're not interested in acquiring his salary. And you go ahead and you take a third, in, you know, instead of a second. Which is totally fine. See? Uh, yeah, we got to find a team that wants them that we can get some salary back from. Uh, I saw that Marlowe retired. Does San Jose want him? I can't afford him. They're fucking shot, man. Oh, Nashkill. Nash, 
Nashville. I'll take my second round pick back. So that's third. What was that? A third round pick I traded. But the cause. Perhaps I can take a player away from you. Would that be something we could arrange? Skaters matching block. Look at a player with like one year left. Preferably one year left. No more, no less. Uh, one year left on a rather expensive contract. One that would open them up cap space. Is this a one way? It is. That should work. What's going on? Negatory. Who else is interested? Uh, no one I'm really trying to trade into. Alright, maybe Columbus. I'm sure they got a bunch of crappy contracts they would love to dish out to me. Originally, I had traded Soderberg to San Jose for Patrick Marlowe. But Marlowe retired, so that kind of makes things difficult. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting, wanna wanna bing bang, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting, wanna wanna bang bang, ba -da -ba -da. do, 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 ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting, wanna wanna bing bang, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting, wanna wanna bang bang. <laughs> this ought to go through. Grr. You know what, I'll just take two waste contracts, to be honest with you. I'm just trying to get rid of Soderberg, not retain salary in the process. Who knows, maybe Matt Calvert will make a good addition to this team. I suppose you can never know until you try. Uh, Jamie Clement, nah, maybe, fuck it, let's just get someone we know we'll keep. Do, 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 ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting, wanna, wanna, bang, bang, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting, wanna, wanna, bang, bang. Clutch. B boys make it with the freak freak. B boys make it with the freak freak. B boys make it with the freak freak. Yes. Yeah, no, there's no shot that's going through straight up. So I'll have to clap back some. We can't trade those guys because they only have one year left. We all know the game freaks out about that, so this shouldn't go through. But it's not; it's worth the shit. All right. So the bird probably gonna release Calvert, but Ryan Murray's the real pickup in this trade. Oh, one final trade. Come on! Oh no, no! Stop lagging out! Boom! Miko Ronton in. I know, I know, I know. I'm probably heartbroken about this. But we, we literally can't afford him beyond the season. He wants us like a six, seven million dollar contract. So I figured we could trade him. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. You know, he's a relatively good player. Uh I didn't I didn't get around to trading him last time. It's kinda when everything crapped out. And the shit hit the fan. I was looking for a two-way forward. That's what I was looking for. I mean, I didn't say I found one, though. Yeah, I, I, I didn't get around to finding one. I was thinking, like, uh... You, you know what? Maybe we maybe we don't have to go ahead and I trade Martin, and Maybe he'll want less money in this one. Yeah, you know, let's just go ahead and we'll... Yeah, because we can't trade him. We got one year left. We can't even trade him yet. So we actually can wait. Oh, one second. Text messages. One second, one second. Um, no. Okay. My phone just lights up at random. Sim entire draft. And then I'm going to trade uh, Ronthanen after this. Hell, I might even trade Ronthanen for a defenseman this time. We shall see. If that was one of the suggestions. 
I'm not going to trade Matt Duchesne, and I'll show you why once we reach the free agency period. It's actually, it's, it's quietly the most genius thing ever. No one expects it, which is the best part. It's like, whoa, he's a genius. And I'm like, I know, I know. Believe me, I know. I've been told this before. So we should have like 20 something million dollars in cap space. Almost 30. That now this is going to go down very fast, especially when we start dishing out contracts. I right, go here, all expiring. We resign who I know I need to go resign. Boom. Uh Big Grass wants like 3 something more. I believe I got him at 3 and a half. Go 3.4, see if that works. Ryan Murray now we have, which is new. I didn't get him before. Get him one year. Get him a cheap contract. There we go. 2.7. Klimsuk. Good. Cause he, he, I know he's going to get good now. He might even play in the Chell next year. Rontanen. Yeah, dude. He wants, he wants cash. I got him at 4.4 maybe. Like 4.3. 4.25. We're, we're incredibly lucky. 4.25. Uh, Nikita. I don't know what we can get him at. I don't remember what I got him at. Um, yeah, this is he's he's gonna be an expensive player. Maybe like five to five. If we're lucky. We'll see. It. We'll see what he thinks about that. Uh, Smith. We release. Bortuzzo. We resign because he's on a cheap one way. That's totally fine. Folin. Get him a pretty ass contract. There we go. Uh, what else we got? King. I, I did re sign King. And a one year, 1.35. Uh, Matt Calvert. Are we going to sign him? Or am I releasing him? Uh, a depth forward. We'll see. Let's. Uh, how much does he want? If he, if he doesn't want a lot, I'll bring him in. You know, he wants a two-way deal. Yeah, screw it. It's not a bad depth player to have. Blake Como. Got him on a really good contract before. Uh, Downey, we released. Kennedy, I believe I released, right? Yeah, Kennedy, we release him. Moss, we can get on a two-way. Uh, Oshi, I get like five and a half. Actually, we can get him at even less. Go eight years at like. I'm really pushing it, but we'll, we'll see if we can get him at that. Okay, let's take a look at goalies. Now, there's no way that all these guys are going to sign these deals. I kind of know that going into it, but I, I just want to feel them out. And we get one year, one million for him. Believe me, we're going to need all the cap space we can going into the postseason, because, uh, the free agency period, because there is one player I want to get, and he is not cheap. And you will see who that is. Now, you're going to lose your mind at first, but you're going to be immediately wrong. Although... You will you will mind trick yourself. You're like, oh my god, he's at it again. He's gonna do the same thing he did last time. And you know what? You may or may not be right. Just saying. I am just saying that this person may or may not have been the entire reason why our last franchise mode was successful. Just saying. The player that I'm gonna get is basically the entire reason that my last franchise went so well. Just gonna say that. Only else, the only thing else I'm saying is he's a center. Right, I'm not going further than that. He's a damn good center, I should say, though. Like, one of the best in the game. Like, legitimately one of the best in the game. If not the world. Like, he's incredibly good. Like, amazing. Like, beyond amazing. Like... Like, his overall exceeds a high number. Good. And that, that's the guy we're getting. He's he's better than McKinnon. Was selected the same overall number as McKinnon. 
and his number is odd, but for all you old Ranger fans, it's the same number that Matt Gilroy used to wear. Right? I believe so. Did Gilroy wear it? I think Gilroy wore that number. Right? You'll see who it is. Uh, you'll see who it is. I'm done teasing. You'll all see. Maybe 4.75. And when you see him, like, oh, he's at it again. He's going to do it again. Ouch, son of a bitch. When you see him, like, oh, I knew he was going to get him again. Because without without him, the other franchise wouldn't even be a franchise. Not even close to it. Literally the only reason we won in the last franchise mode. Literally insane. How about this? The only other thing I'll say is a restricted free agent. And we're going to be giving up an awful lot to get him. Here he is, right here. Yes, sir. He is coming back in my franchise mode as my number one player. Mr. Connor McDavid. No, I'm kidding. Are you kidding me? Like, I'm going to sign this guy again? That wouldn't even be fair, people. Come on. How gullible are you guys? Really? Who fell for that? Raise your hand if you fell for that. Not that I can see you or anything. Come on, people. Really? You thought I was going to sign him again? Really? Come on. Got more dignity than that. But could you imagine, though? I know what you're thinking. And I know what I'm thinking. I know that you know that I know what you know. And you know that I know that you know. But who knows that we know that I know and that he know now ho. The center that we're going to get, and yes, we are getting a center. And no, the center is not for the, th uh, the fourth line. No, the center is not sub-84 overall. The center we're getting is Mr. Kyle Turris. Is it crazy to get Kyle Turris? Absolutely. But is this a crazy franchise mode? Absolutely. Have I been known to do irrational things like getting a third line center that's 89 overall? Absolutely. Absolutely. Call me crazy. Guess what? I don't I don't give up. I don't give up. So that's our new third line center. I figured I should tell you guys up front. Ugh. Like, how would it not be our new third line center, you know? But then you got, like, two 91s and an 89 as your center core. I always said, always said that a, 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 uh, a winning team has three stud centers. The Kings, Richards, Carter, Kopitar. The Oilers, Gretzky, Messier, McTavish. Uh, let's see what other, what other great teams that have four six centers. Tell the bought the Boston Bruins. They had Savard, Bergeron, Krejci, and Kessel ended up playing a little bit of center. Uh, who else? What other teams? Uh, the old Penguins have Lemieux, Francis, and uh, there was one other guy. I can't think of his name right now. Uh, forget about it. All the good teams have four good centers. Always, always have and always will. Oh, that would be a sick pickup. We got a million dollars to spend. We could always just see if there's like a player out there that's got this like great, great. Oh damn, Nick Holden. This got uh, <laughs> listed as something good uh, in the role, but has low overall. That's usually an indicator that a player is, has morale issues. Every now and then you'll come across those. Perhaps not here. All right. Perhaps not here. No, I do not believe that we need to sign anybody else. Although, how cool would it be to have Joffrey Lupo on the fourth line? That would be pretty sick. I know. That's why I proposed it. Uh, now we're good. Then that's all we need. That's it. That's all. That's all there is. Come on, fresh. I'm not even worried about the minor league squad this year. They they can handle themselves. Ugh. It's funny because the video that I had recorded prior to this one, like the original one, was like an hour long. Literally an hour.
Just one of those days. It's all about the he said, she said bullshit. Don't think about it quick. Make it just slip. Or you'll be leaving with a fat lip. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. The simulation is boring. Yes. Blurting out random words while simulation occurs is my motto. Holy shit, man. Once I figure out how to link up, like, audio and, record, uh, like, video recording, I'm gonna, like, fast forward the shit out of this. Yes. Final. Oh. Thought that would never end. Doing roster moves. Then we're gonna go to goalies. Over here we got Helberg. We got defensemen. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, no, no injuries are off. Leave me alone. Ye okay, didn't get better. Didn't get better. Didn't get better. Didn't get better. Did not. Did not. But we're. Act. Four wards, first and foremost. Nobody needs to be called up. Good news, as always. Who needs to be sent down is a better question. Nobody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ew. No, no, no. Do we not have a fourth line? Dude, Klimchuk, bro. What the f man? Relying on you. You son of a bitch. Como. Do I give Calvert the shot? Looking for good defensive players. Moss. Como Moss. Who's in the NHL? Vandevelde. That's kind of cliche. We'll give it to Josephson because he's actually pretty good. He's got morale problems. Being a little bitch. Alright, let's take let's take a look. Let's see what these lines look like. I can't believe Joss didn't get better, man. Joss! He needs to get good, bro. Alright, we'll go boom. Boom shaka luck a luck a boom shaka luck a luck a boom shaka luck a luck a ah no. Now, I'll, I propose putting Oshi on the third line to spread out some scoring here. Move up Como because he can handle himself. You know? Even Jost. Yeah, move up Jost. Now, look at that. Now, this is like a more of a stacked team. Like, that third line is sick. That second line is sick. That first line is insane. Very well-rounded team. And then defensively... Lefty, righty, right. Uh, two way. And then Murray. Mm, actually, there. this is actually a very good defensive core. I enjoy it. Okay. I'm not, never, ever, 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 ever mess with special teams. All right, that ought to be good. We'll go best lines down here. Go back to the NHL. All right, that ought to be good. Bronson went up to an 89. Beautiful. Alright, definitely a more relaxed episode today, and that is going to be all she wrote as soon as I click save, because I now I know it's safe. So, thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed watching, because I certainly enjoyed making it, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!